Step back in time to a world where sirens echoed through the streets and flashing lights painted the night sky in hues of urgency. Close your eyes for a moment and journey back to that first encounter with the iconic 1972 TV series, Emergency. Do you remember the excitement, the thrill that coursed through you as you were introduced to the gripping world of paramedics and firefighters racing against time? The flickering screen illuminated your imagination, igniting a spark of curiosity and admiration for those who put their lives on the line to save others. Perhaps it was the dynamic partnership between paramedics Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto that resonated with you, their camaraderie and dedication forging a bond that felt almost tangible. Or maybe it was the adrenaline pumping rescues, each episode unveiling new challenges that tested the resolve of Station 51 Seconds' fearless team. In the midst of scripted chaos, there were moments that felt so real, so raw, that they lingered in your memory long after the credits rolled. Was it the unforgettable sound of the klaxons, a symphony of urgency that signaled the beginning of yet another life-altering mission? Or maybe it was Dixie McCall's unwavering strength as she held the fort at Rampart General Hospital, a beacon of calm amidst the storm. Each episode was a roller coaster of emotions, a blend of heart-pounding action and heartwarming connections that kept you coming back for more. And now, as we venture beyond the nostalgia and into the realm of intriguing trivia, let's uncover the hidden gems and behind-the-scenes stories that make Emergency an evergreen classic. From its inception to the impact it had on shaping public perception of emergency services, there's more to this series than meets the eye. So, buckle up as we delve into a world where every fact is a surprise waiting to be unveiled. Emergency was a 1972 TV series that emerged as a groundbreaking medical drama and action-packed show. Created by Jack Webb and Robert Assinator, the series centered around the fast-paced lives of paramedics Roy DeSoto and John Gage, played by Kevin Tigg and Randolph Mantooth, respectively. Set in Los Angeles County, the show's unique style blended intense emergency rescues with realistic medical procedures, showcasing the challenges faced by paramedics and firefighters. The series, known for its accurate portrayal of emergency services, introduced audiences to the world of paramedicine, highlighting the paramedics' heroic efforts and camaraderie. The show's impact on popular culture was notable, as it shed light on the importance of emergency medical services and inspired a generation to pursue careers in healthcare. Now delving into intriguing facts about the show, the show's technical advisor, James O'Page, was a pioneer in the field of paramedicine and helped ensure the show's medical authenticity. The iconic red fire engine, Squad 51, became synonymous with the series, and its design later influenced real-life emergency vehicle aesthetics. Emergency also paved the way for future medical dramas and procedural shows, setting a precedent for Dixie's blending heroic realism ride, with compelling behind-the-scenes look at emergency. As intense rescues in the realm of classic television, few shows have left as lasting an impact as the 1972 series Emergency. With its gripping narratives centered on the lives of paramedics Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto, the show captured the hearts of viewers across the nation. Amidst the adrenaline-pumping rescues and medical emergencies, an intriguing behind-the-scenes fact emerges, the remarkable intersection of fiction and reality. One pivotal character, Nurse Dixie McCall, portrayed by the talented Julie London, not only graced the hospital wards but also made a memorable visit to the fire station. In a gripping premiere episode, Dixie courageously rode alongside the dynamic duo in Squad 51, participating in not one, but two daring rescues. However, the twist that fans might not know is that Dixie herself became a victim in one of those adrenaline-soaked missions. As the episode unfolded, Dixie's character showcased an unparalleled commitment to her role as a medical professional. Yet, it was her dual role as both rescuer and victim that added an unexpected layer to the storyline. This narrative choice not only heightened the tension, but also underscored the high-stakes nature of the paramedics' daily lives. The intrigue doesn't end there. Emergency. Enthusiasts might also recall the appearance of Engine 51 in the fire training film Countdown to Disaster. The connection between fiction and real-world firefighting practices speaks to the show's commitment to authenticity, transcending entertainment to offer insights into the crucial work of emergency responders. Behind this seamless integration of fact and fiction stood Jim Page, a series consultant hailed as the father of modern M's. Page's influence extended beyond the small screen. 
Following the show's conclusion, Paige extended a unique opportunity to Randolph Mantooth, the actor behind Johnny Gage, to undergo training and join the Los Angeles County Fire Department as a firefighter. Mantooth's eventual decision to decline this offer, after much contemplation, adds an intriguing layer of what-ifs to the show's legacy. As we revisit the iconic series Emergency, and the unparalleled portrayals of bravery and dedication, let us not forget the captivating blend of real-world influence and dramatic storytelling that shaped its enduring impact. Emergency Unveiled behind the scenes of iconic 1972 TV series in the realm of classic television, few series have left as enduring a mark as Emergency. The show's emblematic radio call sign, KMG365, continues to resonate, holding genuine significance even today. Remarkably, this call sign maintains its FCC validity, officially licensed to the LACOFD. Notably uttered whenever Station 51 springs into action, the call sign isn't just a scripted detail, it thrives in reality. A fascinating link connects the series to Station 127, the filming location for Station 51. The station patches worn by the on-screen crew proudly display the call sign, an emblematic thread-binding fiction in fact. However, Emergency transcended its primary focus, frequently weaving other elements into its narrative tapestry. Among these intriguing additions was the recurring presence of the Leave It to Beaver house. A distinct touch of Hollywood magic emerged as this iconic house materialized on screen, nestled within the sprawling expanse of Universal Studios. Mere coincidence it was not, the Universal Studio Tour Tram also showcased this iconic residence, a testament to the show's symbiotic relationship with the studio. Behind the scenes, inventive set design played a key role. Interiors, often culled from different sets or repurposed, brought a unique flavor to the show's visual landscape. The camaraderie forged during emergency extended beyond the confines of the screen. Stars Randolph Mantooth and Kevin Tigg shared a profound friendship with Julie London and Bobby Troop. Bonds that weathered the series' end, this quartet's connection remained steadfast. A poignant chapter emerged when they rallied around London during her 1995 hospitalization, demonstrating the genuine kinship that blossomed during their time together on set. A legacy of emergency rests not solely on its gripping rescues, but also on the remarkable interplay of reality and fiction. KMG365's persistence as an actual call sign the iconic house that stood as a silent witness, and the enduring camaraderie between its stars are the tapestry of a show that indelibly Tim Donnelly and Mark Lopez, history. the gratitude-crafted duo of Emergency. In the realm of 1970s television, Emergency stood as a beacon of thrilling medical drama, capturing the hearts of viewers with its pulse-pounding rescues and heartfelt camaraderie. Yet, beyond the flashing lights and sirens, a lesser-known story adds a layer of behind-the-scenes appreciation to the show's legacy. Tim Donnelly and Marco Lopez, familiar faces to fans of Jack Webb and Robert Asinator's earlier creations, Dragnet 1967 and Adam 12, had frequently inhabited the periphery of those series, portraying minor roles and blending into the background. This history of collaboration sparked a unique bond between the actors, and the creators, which bore fruit when Emergency, came to life in 1972. Jack Webb's extensive collaboration with Donnelly and Lopez culminated in a gesture of gratitude that etched their names into the annals of television history. Recognizing the chemistry and commitment these actors brought to the screen, Webb Taylor made the roles of Chet B. Kelly and Marco Lopez within the framework of Emergency. These characters became integral threads in the tapestry of the show's success, woven with the threads of loyalty and camaraderie that had been nurtured over the years. Over the six-season run of Emergency, Donnelly and Lopez transcended their supporting roles, stepping into the spotlight and solidifying their positions as beloved cast members. Their journey, a testament to the power of collaboration and loyalty in the dynamic world of television production, left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. As the final siren wailed on emergency, in 1979, it wasn't just the unforgettable rescues that lingered in the minds of the audience, but also the realization that the connections forged off-screen had immeasurably enriched the show's fabric. 
a legacy of Tim Donnelly and Marco Lopez, etched in gratitude and brought to life by Webb's foresight, endures as a testament to the profound impact of the human touch in the realm of entertainment. In a serendipitous twist of fate, Julie London's three-week singing commitment in Las Vegas cast an unexpected influence over the beloved 1972 TV series Emergency. As the producer's initial choice for the role of Dixie McCall, RN, London's prior engagement forced a pivotal decision that would echo throughout the show's run. The rings adorning the fingers of Dixie McCall and Joe Early in the series held more significance than met the eye. These very rings, unassumingly worn, were the wedding bands of none other than Julie London and Bobby Troop themselves. As the characters navigated the dramatic emergencies on screen, the rings silently bore witness to the real-life connection of the actors behind them. But the interplay between fiction and reality didn't end there. Dixie McCall's nurturing presence towards the characters Johnny and Roy mirrored a dynamic that extended beyond the script. Randolph Mantuf, who portrayed Johnny, and Kevin Tigg, who played Roy, found in Julie London a surrogate mother and mentor, echoing the on-screen bond in their off-screen lives. Mantuf expressed the impact London had, underscoring her guidance as a motherly figure. Tig further emphasized that London and Troop's influence on the cast and crew transcended the screen, turning into deep friendships that left a lasting mark for fans of emergency. And its enduring charm, these insights illuminate the subtle layers that make the show more than just a series. The rings, the relationships, and the intertwining narratives serve as a testament to the lasting impact of television's ability to bridge fiction with reality, touching lives both on and off the screen. In the end, the story of emergency is one that goes beyond the emergencies it portrays, delving into the hearts of those who brought it to life and the connections that forever As we bind. close the chapter on this journey back to the captivating world of the 1972 TV series Emergency, the memories you've woven together with the lives of Squad 51 Seconds Valiant Paramedics, and the resolute staff of Rampart General Hospital remain as vivid as the sirens wail echoing through time. The show wasn't just a screen adaptation, it became a cherished companion, a lifeline to emotions and experiences that have shaped your personal narrative. Like a paramedic's defibrillator shock, emergency sparked something within you, an electrifying connection that resonated beyond the screen. Whether it was Captain Stanley's unwavering leadership, Johnny and Roy's camaraderie, or Dixie's heartwarming compassion, these characters etched their marks onto your heart. The emergencies they navigated mirrored the roller coaster of life itself. And perhaps, in those moments, you saw your own challenges and triumphs mirrored on the small screen. Every rescue, every heartfelt exchange, every pulse pounding call left an indelible imprint, stitching the fabric of your own experiences with the show's tapestry. It's not just nostalgia, it's a reminder of the courage and resilience that you carry within, reminiscent of those brave heroes who raced against time to save lives. As you look back on the series, consider sharing your treasured memories, the thoughts that this time travel conjured, and the emotions that it stirred. Your story, your connection, adds to the vibrant mosaic of fan experiences, further illustrating the timeless allure of emergency. So, let's raise our metaphorical sirens to celebrate this journey together. Thank you for reliving these moments and sharing your own stories inspired by emergency. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated as we honor the show's impact on our lives. And with that, until our paths cross again, keep those memories alive. And remember, the spirit of Squad 51 and Rampart General Hospital lives on within you. Stay strong, stay compassionate, and keep answering those calls for help, wherever they may be. With admiration for your passion and fondness for the series, 